Hello, today we're going to talk about cost items in our estimation product and takeoff. So let's go to project estimates. Okay, and I want to show you that we have a library of cost items. There is now about 98, just over 98,000 cost items in this library. And the idea behind these cost items are that if you're looking to do um, estimation and use standard cost items that are industry based. Well, there's 98,000 of them that you can choose from. And how do we get started um, with choosing cost items? Now, these are the plan hub cost items in our library, and you can choose many different ways. Uh, you can select them in many different ways. Uh, one of the ways I do it is I like to search for things. Let's say, for example, I was looking for a two by four by eight, not 89 by eight stud. I'll just put in two by four by eight. Let's see what it brings back. Okay, you have plates, floor joists. Ah, there we go. Number one stud, two by four by eight. Now, what can I do with this? I can actually take that and add it to one of my sheets. I'll just basically click add to estimate, which one you see unit 302, unit 304 and doors. I'll select unit 302, click add. And if I now come to units 302, you see that item has been added to my sheet. If I, and now it's a manual uh, add. So I have to now go in there. And if I want to put in, um, for example, is it, equipment, labor, materials. I'm going to put materials. I'm going to put quantity. Maybe there's 30 of them. Uh, unit of measure is each. Unit cost is now, let's say, $2.48. And I'll hit save. And you can see that it automatically calculated up for me. Added it to my sheet total. I have this toggle on, which includes uh, my sheet total in my project total. See if I click that toggle, it takes it out, right? And my total went down to 4,000 bucks. See, 29,212. If I toggle it back on, it'll include it in my sheet total right there. So that's one of the things that you can do with cost items. You can grab them from our cost items library and you can put them directly into your estimate. Another thing you can do is you can modify our uh, duplicate a plan hub cost item and modify it and make it yours. Uh, I'm going to search for concrete, concrete slab. Let's see if I can come up with any cost items that are concrete slabs. Okay, concrete slab on grade. Yeah, that's a nice one. I like to have that and I want to modify it so I can just click duplicate. And what will happen here, you see it duplicated it. Concrete slab on grade duplicate, right? And it put my fictitious name on there, Davis Jarvis. Always like that name. So now, what can I do? You see, I'm filtered on concrete slab. If I clear my filters, boy, I'm going to get 98,000. And I want to find the one uh, that I just created. So I'm just going to... Uh, let's try Jarvis. Do I even remember my own name? So there we go. Any items that I take and I duplicate, they'll become mine. And now I can even go and edit them. I can change their name. Let's say I can call this four inch concrete, 3000 PSI. slab i keep that the measurement type on uh, this would be a volume measurement type i can keep all these things maybe the, i'll make the item here material cubic yards i can even save the unit cost here if i wanted to maybe it's cost is four dollars 45 dollars per cubic yard save okay now i can add this to my sheet i'm going to go to unit 302 add Come to unit 302 over here. There it is, right? 
the four inch 3000 PSI concrete slab. You can see here that it brought in the $45. I can go edit it now and I can put in the quantity. Maybe how many cubic yards am I gonna use on this job? Quantity, maybe I'm using a hundred cubic yards. Save that. Now you can see it totaled it all up for me. Okay, I can come back to my cost item library. And if I wanted to, again, find my own, I'll just basically type in my name. Anything that I've created will show up as such. And that's how you can take a plan hub cost item, duplicate it and modify it for your own needs. Thank you. Mm -hmm.